guess that's all locked up tight now, as it should be. Hi there, Jody. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, everything's all safe down here. Let's go upstairs. Can you hand with him? Is he too heavy? No, no, I can manage fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, on our way to the children's department once again. Hospitals. Singing yo hee ho, walking around the store at night. Singing yo hee ho, seeing everything's all right. Jeff, my goodness, what happened? You look terrible. Did you have an accident? Did does it hurt you, Jeff? I'm fine, Sam. Oh, how brave you are! That's the spirit, my boy. Sam, there's nothing wrong. Really, I, I'm just helping Jody. You mean Jody had an accident? No, oh, I haven't, Jody. Sam. Jeff's just helping me with my first aid lesson. I'm oh. learning how to put a bandage on from the what first aid book. Ah, yes. First aid. <laughs> Everybody should know first aid. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's why Jody's taking lessons. Oh. And I'll have to hurry or I'll be late. Yeah. There. Hey. Tonight the doctor's going to show us what to do if somebody sprains their ankle. Mm. Oh, I better go. Yeah. Go, Jody. Right. Oh, Jody, Jody, oh, what do I do with this? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. You can take it off now. Thank you. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. That's nice. How do I look? That's, that's good. <laughs> Should have had one on the other arm, too. You know, sort of match them up a little bit. <laughs> I think I'll show my bandage to Muffy. Oh, yeah. See you, sir. Okay, I'll see you later, Jeff. <laughs> First aid, imagine that. Oh, uh, Jody, you forgot your uh, bandage here. See now. I used to know some first aid. Where's the, where's the end of this thing? Still, where is that? No, I can't see anything. I should have, uh... Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh, goodness, now I... Now I dropped my... Where is that? I dropped my hat somewhere. Wait a second. Down on the other side here. Oh, poor me. I don't feel well at all. I'm chilly, even with my shawl, and my throat is very, very sore. Just swallow hurts me more and more. I'm dizzy when my head moves quickly. Oh, admit it, Muffy, you are sickly. Oh, I don't even want some cheese and bread. Instead, I'll lie here in my bed and try and get a little sleep by counting mice, of course instead of sheep. Oh. One of the most important things to have is... Hmm. Good health. Well, that makes sense. Hi, Jody. Hi. I was going to show my bandage to Muffy, but she's not around. Oh, she probably slept in, Jeff. You know Muffy. <laughs> oh, here. Answer this question. Okay. One of the most important things to have is... A magic hat. Oh, Jeff, this is a first aid book for people, not mannequins. Sorry. They don't have magic hats. Uh, well, let's see. How about good health? Yeah, that's pretty important. And he didn't even peek. Uh, all right, here's the second question. What does health mean? Uh, well, it means how you feel. If, if nothing's wrong with you and you feel great, then you're in good health. Uh, but if you feel awful and, uh, and you feel ill, 
Well, then you're in bad health. I guess. Pretty good. Health. Health is when you feel strong and your body's doing fine. Yeah, but health. Health can sometimes go wrong and your body will give you a sign. If you feel sick in your tummy and your headaches too, then tell your daddy or your mommy and they'll help you. Health. Visiting the doctor. They can tell if you have the flu. Uh-huh. And they know just what to do. It's true. They will look after your infection. Give your health some good protection. They help you. You might need to visit the doctor if you stepped on a nail. Swallowed a stone, twisted your ankle, or broken a bone. You might need to visit the doctor if you've had a bad cough, a bleeding nose, drop something heavy on top of your toes, measles. If you discover a rash, it might be measles or nothing at all or chicken pox. To know, to know what you have, have, you must go to the docks. Go to the docks. Help. If you have a fever, then you'd better stay in bed. What the doctor said, it's true. See a family physician, they'll keep you in good condition. They'll help, they'll help, they'll help, they'll help you. <laughs> oh, Mrs. P, I didn't know you were working tonight. Afraid so, but I came running when I heard the noise. <laughs> well, we were just practicing for Jody's first aid lessons. First aid? Yeah. Hmm, I never knew singing could make people better. Hmm, must be a new method. Uh oh, my lesson's going to start. I'll see you two later. Okay, Jody. Bye, Jeff. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Pennypacker. Bye, Jody. And say hello to all the doctors and nurses for me, dear. Oh, I do love doctors and nurses. They're always ready to help. Ooh. That's what I said. Help. Ooh. Sam? Mr. Crenshaw, where are you? Help. Sam? Oh, my. Help. Mr. Crenshaw. Oh, problem. Jeff. I seem to have uh, got stuck a little. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, my throat is worse. It's very sore. Each moment it hurts more and more. I'm too ill to be alone, to lie in bed and groan and moan. Oh, oh, I bet this is a dreadful flu. Well, Judy will know what to do. Oh. Oh. Mm, thanks, Jeff. Guess I kind of overdid it, didn't I? <laughs> Should have known better than to play with first aid equipment. Thank you. Oh, you gave me such a fright, Mr. Crenshaw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd been in a terrible accident. Mm. That's most of them, Sam. Oh. Oh. Will you tell Jody that I'm not well? And I'm about to have a dizzy spell. Oh, my goodness, Muffy. Uh, you look terrible. Oh. Oh, take it easy, Muff. Sam. Muffy's head is very hot. That's mm. a sign of fever. She shouldn't be up. Oh. Well, Jody's out, Muffy, uh, at her first aid class. Don't you worry. We'll help you. Uh, now, where does it hurt most? Well, my throat feels too sore to touch. And inside, it hurts, oh, so much. Oh. oh. Well, open as wide as you can, Muffy. Maybe we can see something. Uh, uh, this is P, the back of Muffy's throat. It's all red and swollen. Mm, let, let me see, Muffy. Let me see. Say, uh... Oh, yeah. Looks awfully sore in there, Jeff. I think you should call Muffy's doctor as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh, but 
My doctor's on his holiday. He's, he's fishing up near Hudson's Bay. Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, I know. I'll drive Muffy to the hospital. Hey, it's close by, and they have an emergency department. That's right. open all night. Oh, yeah. Jeff, Muffy should be wrapped in a blanket before she goes outside. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Crenshaw, would you like me to come with you? Oh, no, that won't be necessary, Mrs. Pennypacker. But if you could perhaps keep an eye on the store oh. and... Uh, Maybe make my rounds, if you would. I'd appreciate that. Oh, I'll keep both eyes on the store, Mr. Oh, Crenshaw. Thank you, thank you. We all have to help in an emergency, you yeah, know. that's right. Here's the blanket. Oh, uh, good, Jeff. Oh, I wish I could come with you, Muffy. But you'll be all right. The doctors will make you better. I just know it. Sure they will. Come on, then, Muffy. Bundle up. Let's go slowly. Bye, Muffy. Oh, don't worry. And now I'd like to introduce A Nursery Ride by Mother Goose. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat, and he rapped on the door with a rat-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and shook his head, and he said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on some paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning with a bill, bill, bill. <sighs> oh, Sam, my voice feels funny when I talk. I try to speak and instead I squawk. Well, that's because your throat's swollen, Muffy. So try not to talk too much and... When the doctor comes in, I'll tell her what's wrong, all right? Uh, yeah, don't, don't oh, say hello. anything. Oh, here's the doctor now. I'm Dr. Don't Bennett. Worry. <laughs> now, Everything will be fine. What seems now, to be the trouble? Uh, yeah, doctor? Hello? Oh, but, yeah. ooh, there oh. you are. <laughs> now, what seems to be the trouble? Well, you see... Uh, oh, but, I certainly can. <gasps> what? Does your head hurt very much? My head? Mm -hmm. No, my head doesn't hurt at all. Uh, probably shock. What? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with me. It's Muffy here. She's oh. feeling awful. Oh, oh, please terrible. help me. Oh, say you will. I'm oh. feeling awfully, awfully ill. Oh, oh. Oh. Feeling ill? Yeah. Well, we better have a look at you. Yeah. Uh, now, wait a minute. You're a mouse. Oh, you see, I told her she'd be a good doctor, Muffy. She noticed right away that you were a mouse. No, 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 you don't understand. This is the hospital for sick children. We're famous for treating children, Ooh. not mice. Ooh. You should go to an animal hospital. Oh. Yes, but, but they're all so far away, and Muffy needs help right away. But she's not a child. Well, children are little, and Muffy is little, so please, please. Oh, well, seeing as she's here, I, I suppose I oh, could examine her. Thank you, thank you. Besides, a talking mouse is rather special. Yeah. But I've never done this before. <laughs> I've never treated a mouse. I've never treated a mouse. Even though I'm very clever, <laughs> I've never treated a mouse. Oh, yeah. I heal children by the dozens, sisters, brothers, and their cousins. I'm not conceited, but I've never treated a mouse. I can see you have a fever. Now your mouth please open wide. Cause that is where the trouble is. Will you please, sir, step aside? Her throat is red and swollen. <laughs> A bad case of mice tonsillitis. I've not heard of that before. Oh, are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. An operation is the only cure. I'll operate on this mouse. She'll, <laughs> She'll operate on this mouse. It's after eight, but not too late to operate on this mouse. Oh, yeah. And I haven't the slightest doubt. Your tonsils must come out. No need to wait tonight. We'll operate on this mouse. 
All right, now then we'll get your feet tucked in under there. That's it. Now then, now that we've got you all comfortable, I'll go and arrange everything. Oh, thanks, doctor, for helping me into bed. But couldn't I have a pill instead? Oh, no, pills are very good for some things, but very bad for others. You must never take a pill unless your doctor says it's all right. Mm. Well, then could I have an explanation as to why I need an operation? Oh, well, it's very simple. See, everybody has two little tonsils in ah. here. But yours have become badly infected. That's why they hurt. Mm. Oh, but, but it's not your fault, Muffy. The infections just happen. Now, we're going to give you an injection of some medicine that will put you into a special sleep, and then we'll take them out. Mm. Then when we wake you up, your tonsils will be gone, so they won't be able to hurt you anymore. Uh. Oh, that's good. Uh, tell me, Dr. Bennett, do uh, children get this too? Children never get mice tonsillitis. <laughs> oh, some children do have troubles with their tonsils, but... They don't usually need an operation, mm. and never an emergency operation. Only mice need that. Well, sometimes I get a sore throat. Do you think that might be my tonsils? Not very likely. It's probably a cold. Mm. Or maybe your horse from talking too much. <laughs> now then, you make yourself <laughs> comfortable, and I'll be back <laughs> later. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. Bennett. Uh. Isn't that wonderful, Muffy? Soon you'll be all better. <gasps> I think that doctor is okay, and she'll make my sore throat go away. <sighs> uh-huh. Okay, Sam, I will. Oh, oh, and, um, tell Muffy that I'm thinking about her, and that I miss her, and I know she'll be back very soon. Okay. Bye, Sam. Jeff, what happened? <sighs> Muffy's in the hospital. She has to have an operation on her tonsils. Oh, poor Ma. Yeah. Sam gave me a list of things that she'll need. Um, a dressing gown, clean pajamas, a toothbrush, and three donuts. Donuts? They're for Sam. Oh. He missed his snack. <laughs> well, I'll take the list and go gather these things up. Or maybe I should take Muffy one of her favorite toys. I think she'd like that. Jeff? Jeff, you're not worried about Muffy, are you? Well, you mustn't be. Lots of people have operations. That's how they get better. I know. And she'll only be in the hospital for a little while. Yeah, but it's just that... Well, Muffy's my friend, and I can't even be there to cheer her up or, or make, her, make her laugh. But, Jeff, you don't have to be there. Muffy knows how much you care, and... Besides, somebody has to stay here and take care of the store and look after... Yeah. Uh-oh. Who's doing Sam's rounds? Oh, Mrs. P. Mrs. P? I hope she doesn't eat Sam's donuts. There. That should be more comfortable. Oh, thank you. That's very cozy. But you know what? I feel a little dozy. Well, you're supposed to, Muffy. Uh, you were given an injection to help send you to sleep for the operation. You just lie there. It isn't it? Uh, um, <laughs> don't want to get in your way here. <laughs> I uh, don't mean to be... Well, you know all about first aid, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, being a nurse and everything, uh, you'll, you'll take good care of my little friend here, won't you? Oh, we take good care of all our patients. Oh, good. Now, make sure that Muffy doesn't eat or drink anything until after the operation. Right. right. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I'll be right back, Muffy. She's really nice, isn't she, Muffy? Yeah. Don't worry, they're going to take good care of you, and before you know it, you'll be all better. Oh, hi there, Jody. Hi. Come on in. Hey, what happened to your head? My head? Oh, oh that's nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll explain it all to you later. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Muff. How are you? Oh, you're really sore, aren't you? Well, I brought your things, and Jeff said to say hello. Gee, he's really sorry that he can't come and visit you, but he did send you something. Look, his picture. Oh, well, you know, he'd feel better if he saw how good all the doctors are. And the nurse is really nice, 
and everybody here likes mice. <laughs> oh, the nurse is back, Muffy. Ready, Muffy? It's time to go to the operating room. Now, I'm mm -hmm. just going to lift you into this stretcher here. Can you come with me? Here we go. Easy. Easy does it. There. Just pop your head up here. It's just a short trip down the hall, and we'll be there before you know it. Here we go. All right. We're I'll on. give you a hand. Thank you very much. You just try and stay comfy there, Muffy, and say hi to the nice doctors for me, and... We'll be here when you wake up. We'll see you later, Muffy. Bye-bye. Bye. When you get out, you'll be a little bit tired, but there'll be a nurse there beside you. And afterwards, you can eat all the popsicles you want. Won't be too long now. Here we go, right through. Well, Sam, I guess there's nothing we can do but wait. Yep, nothing but wait. Did you bring my donuts? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the nuts. <laughs> really? Well, my goodness, you'd make a person dizzy just watching you. Oh, I wish I wasn't a mannequin. <gasps> well, then I could be there when Muffy comes back from her operation. Now, now, Jeff, that's no way to talk. If you weren't a mannequin, well, you wouldn't be living in this store. And you might never have met Muffy. I guess you're right. <laughs> I'm right now. Get out of my way. Somebody's got to get some work done here. Work? How can you work when Muffy's having her operation? Uh, aren't you worried? Oh. I was yelling. Mm -hmm. That's not very nice. I'm sorry, Mrs. P. It's okay, Jeff. Sometimes it does a person good to let off steam. Yeah. Uh, I guess when you're worried about someone, you forget to be nice to the people around you. Yes, and you forgot something else very important, too. That soon everything will be fine again. I wish I could believe that. You must try. Muffy was very sick, but at this very precise moment, the doctors and nurses are making her all better, and soon she'll be here teasing us all again. Oh. You see? Yeah. Everything will be fine. You must try to believe. Whenever you're frightened or sad Everything will be fine If you'd only believe That good often follows the bad If you're willing to share If you know that you care On your troubles the sun will soon shine It's a hard thing to do When you're feeling blue But believe everything soon will be fine and soon everything will be fine. It can't be much longer. The operation must be nearly over. Yeah, it's good. Hey, while we're waiting, Jody, why don't we go for a little walk? You know, maybe find us uh, some milk or something to drink. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but on one condition, Sam. What's that? That silly bandage has got to go. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Didn't notice it was there even. <laughs> By the time I got back to the rooming house yeah. and picked up my suitcase, and got it down all the way to the pier. The mm -hmm. ship had already sailed. Oh, no. Here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I had to swim for it, and it must have been, well... <laughs> Hi. Oh, dear me, what happened here? I fell down the stairs and broke my arm. You did? Oh. My, 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 yes, I can see that. Does it hurt? A little. I'll have to stay here until tomorrow. Well, that's because your cast has to have time to dry, and then the doctors are going to want to check your arm and your fingers. Hello. Okay, Alan, in we go. Uh, well, perhaps this lady could help. Sure, I'll take okay. things for you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Can you just grab the end there for me? That would be a help. Thank you. Swing around here. Okay, here we go. Just turn you around here and put you right into your own place. There you go. There we are. There. Okay, Alan, how's that? You comfortable? 
Now, we'll soon fix that. Here, we'll just take this blanket and slide it right under your arm. That's right. Okay, now, you just slip your arm right into there. There we go. That's right. Is that better? Okay, good. Now, I'm just outside if you need anything, all right? Okay. Oh, mm. please don't stay too long. Alan needs to get some sleep. Oh, sir. <laughs> She's nice, eh? Yeah. Well, do you know what that is you're leaning on there, Jody? That's a, a tray. See, when you're here in hospital, eh, they give you a breakfast in bed, Alan. <laughs> Won't that be fun? No. No? no I want to go home. Well, sure you do. But you want your arm to get better. And your mother and I will come and visit you bright and early. We'll bring you pajamas and your slippers and some of your favorite toys, eh? And they have toys here, too. They do? Oh, they sure do. Over in the playroom. They have all sorts of wonderful toys and where you can play with all the other children in the hospital. And the nurse will take good care of you. And the doctor will come by and check and be sure that your arm's getting better. Yeah, they, they might even x-ray your arm. That's like a big camera that can see right through you and look at your bones. <laughs> and as soon as everything's all right, well, you can go home. They, they even give you a lift to the door. And when you go back to school, you can get all of the kids to sign their names on your cast. Yeah. Will you write your name? Sure, hey, but not till tomorrow when it's completely dry. Is that a deal? Yeah. All right. It was nice meeting now in this closet. Yeah, it was. Sure hope his arm heals up. Oh, I right. think he'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, 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 look, Muffy's back. <laughs> hey, Muffy. Oh, she's sleepy. Oh, she'll be waking any moment now. Yeah. Muffy. Muffy, it's Dr. Bennett. Can you hear me? Oh. You're back in your room. Do you feel all right? Uh, you feel better? Oh, good. Now, your infected tonsils are gone. Oh. But your throat will still be a little bit sore for a while. So don't talk unless it's important. Oh, oh Doctor, right. when can Muffy come back to the store? Uh, tomorrow. But she must need any cheese for a bit. Her throat has to heal. Mm -hmm. But she can eat soup or uh, ginger ale without bubbles. Or popsicles. Ooh, you hear that, Muffy? Popsicles. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if we can get her some cheese-flavored popsicles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it, Muffy? Is it important? Yeah. Would you please telephone Jeff and say, don't you worry, I'm okay. Mrs. P, Mrs. P, great news, the operation is over. Oh. Jody just telephoned me, Muffy's fine, everything is wonderful. Oh, I never doubted it for a minute, Jeffrey. Now, let's have a nice cup of tea to celebrate. Everything's fine, just like you said it would be. <laughs> everything will be fine, you must try to believe. Whenever you're frightened or sad Everything will be fine If you'd only believe That good often follows the bad If you're willing to share If you know that you care On your troubles the sun will soon shine It's a hard thing to do When you're feeling blue But believe everything's 